Dirty fuel is a fact of life. Every day, contaminants in varying amounts are introduced into your fuel storage system through the mixing, transferring, and storing of fuel by you, your suppliers, and their sources. There's just no getting around it. The American Petroleum Institute, API, specifications allow for variable levels of impurities and contaminants in today's fuels, which makes proper fuel filtration critical. Refining methods have changed over the years and have directly affected the amount of contaminants typically found in all fuels. Around the time of World War I, the demand for gasoline-powered vehicles increased dramatically and with it, the demand for gasoline. To keep up, new refining methods were needed. In 1913, a process called thermal cracking was developed. Thermal cracking utilized pressure and high heat to break down the large molecules of heavier crudes which were more plentiful than lighter crudes. In 1937, a process called catalytic cracking became widely used in the refining industry. Catalytic cracking was used to break up heavier hydrocarbon molecules into lighter hydrocarbon fractions by the use of heat and catalysts. By 1960, hydrocracking had been developed. This process combined high pressure, high temperature, a catalyst and hydrogen to produce a more efficient and high quality product. In addition to changes in the refinement process, the fuel system itself has also changed. In the 1950s, more sophisticated carburation was used. And by the mid-1980s, the fuel injection system had evolved to a new level. With today's high-performance engines, proper fuel filtration is more important than ever. You will learn more about how the typical fuel filter works in our Filter Types section.